American Iron Horse Motorcycles, perhaps the best factory-built custom choppers ever. So we got four bikes in here, Kevin? That's right. Is this the most you ever had? Uh, I've had six or seven in the past, but not choppers. So now you just got into choppers. Now these are what you got. So you got one Harley and you got, uh, yeah, I've got a, three uh, iron horses. That's right. I got a 95 Road King and I've got a 07 Texas chopper and I've got a 07 uh, Legend and I've got a 05 modified Texas chopper. That has no gas tank on it. That has no gas tank on it, but it will as soon as they fix it. So did you just get into the iron horse bikes? Uh, I had a friend who had one years ago and he let me ride it. And, Instantly hooked and been looking for one for a while and finally bought one and then bought another and then another and I think I pretty much hit my max of what I'm going to buy before I start selling but they're great bikes and uh, I really like them. It's fun. Well listen, being a, a Harley rider and I haven't rode Harleys in 20 years uh, so I just know the Iron Horse but what do you think the big difference is the pluses and minus the Harley versus the Iron Horse? Well. The Harley is, is the Harley. You can just get on it and just ride it like a bicycle. It's something you get used to. They're designed to be ridden comfortably, cross country, whatever. But the choppers, I mean, they're just, they're just a ball of fun. Once you get the hang of them, you just, they just become addictive to ride. And Iron Horse in particular, because it's a very well-made production custom chopper, which is unique in this day. A lot of guys build choppers, but Iron Horse really built a good chopper. They were very well engineered by. They're excellent. Well, I agree with you. You know, personally, I think I told you the two best factory custom bikes, in my humble opinion, are the Texas Chopper and the Big Dog K9, which looks they look almost identical. Yeah, yeah they do. And uh, Big Dog just came back in business. I heard about that. Hopefully, yeah. Iron Horse might come back you one of these know. days. You never That'd be know. Pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. Uh, I forgot the model in uh, in Harley, but uh, I think they're close to thirty thousand now for one of their souped-up uh, brand new bikes. A brand new Harley Davidson. Yeah, uh, I was there the other day, and they had a tricked-out bagger. It was forty-five grand. And oh, they, so I'm off. Wow. Yeah, they start twenty, thirty grand, but. Well, I think the new the new big dogs are around thirty-three thousand. So Is it's that, it's probably right less? right in there for a, a good-looking bike with an S and S one seventeen engine yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, S and S is a good motor too. Uh, I think it's the best. Yeah, it's a very good V-twin. It's uh, well engineered as well. So which one of these you're keeping for yourself? Uh, I'm keeping the one with no tank for myself. The other two I'll probably sell in the spring. But the, the red one in the back, that's my bike forever. It's just like the Road King. Okay, gosh. I guess a lot of people watching this would love to uh, be you and have opened their garage door here and have, uh, have some cool looking bikes in there. Yeah, it's fun. It's uh, kind of a hobby, so it takes me away from my normal business, which is woodworking. So it's, it's just something different. It's fun. Hey, listen. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Be sure to visit our very popular motorcycle blog. It's San Diego Custom Motorcycles dot info, and when you're there, mark it as one of your favorites. Also, be sure to get a subscription to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Hey, thanks for watching.